What's poppin' and welcome back to a brand new video. Today is the first week of January and it's the first weekend and I thought, okay, I haven't made a video for a while, so might, why not just take the video through all of the stuff that I'm gonna do this weekend? So we have a couple of things to do. First of all, we gotta code a little bit on the UI for uploading pictures. That's what we're gonna do today. Then we gotta edit the YouTube video. We're gonna go film at my dad's store a little bit. We gotta dinner tonight. We gotta go to the gym. We gotta clean, we gotta do some laundry, all that kind of stuff. But most of all, it's gonna be a productive weekend, so I thought, why not take it along? Let's go. All right, so here we are back in the office and we're on the gyro boy looking at all the kind of stuff that we have to do today. So I thought today, oh actually this I finished yesterday, the download gear data SXL. We're gonna see if it works on the actual phone though, because now I've only tried it on the simulator and the storage there is a little bit iffy, but I think it will work. Uh, then what we have now is we have the uh, bad UI when adding pictures and we want to be able to add multiple pictures to one job and if we get to it maybe we'll add photos to risk assessments or we'll take that in the next iteration of the app. But right now if we have a look at the app here and we click one of these jobs there's no real way of knowing that you can edit the pictures here. So there's, we have this nice looking UI but how do I know that I can edit this picture? You have to tap it and then it will give you this and also this is one picture. I'm gonna see if there's any kind of way we can add multiple pictures to one job. I think that would be a lot more useful for people since they're typically, you know, there's more than one tree. There's a lot of different stuff they need to take into account, for example. So we're gonna see if we have, if we can come up with some kind of good UI uh, to indicate that you can change a picture and also see if we can begin adding multiple pictures. So let's get into it. So I started coding on the Saturday morning and I kind of came up with something that looked a little bit nice. So what I did is that I have this little Moldo pop-up at the bottom it call, it's called. And essentially there I have a little layout in itself. And in this layout I display a grid view of all of the images that, that the user currently has in the database. If there are more than six then they won't be showed. And then I've also added a check so that if you have more than six images you can't add any more images. The plus at the bottom will disappear. And I think this worked out pretty nice. It makes it a little bit clearer that you can add the images etc. And also like you, it makes it look a little bit nicer when you can actually delete them. Because before you couldn't delete an image you just had to replace it. And you could only add one. I also had a little carousel at the top where it was spins the images around a little bit so you can have more. And it also has this nice automation where it kind of spins a little bit when you're not touching it. But all in all I think it worked out pretty good. It wasn't too complex. Probably took about an hour or two and I was happy with it. Okay, so we made some more progress. Let me show you here what we've done. So uh, now we have this job, we have this nice little carousel of images. They're kind of like preloaded. So uh, once you loaded them, it's like a cache. So then they will load this. That's why they were a little bit slow now in the beginning. And then we have this nice auto rotation thing. But this is where they're stored. So for example, you can see each and every one of these images they're stored on this database here and the Google Firebase. And what we want to do essentially is be able to delete them from here while also deleting them in the storage. So that's the function that I've written now. It's this thing that we uh, see here. So basically we have to find the, from the URL, which is what we store in the user uh, storage part of the database, uh, we need to extract the part which contains the image name. And from there we can just go to the, uh, in the storage, we can find the user IDs uh, bucket. We can find the jobs for that uh, user and then we can delete this particular image. So. Let's see how it works. We press this, we get this little pop-up and we can press X, 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 for example. If we then go back here and refresh this, we should have removed three of these images and we can see that it is three minutes shorter. Perfect. So that is how it works. I have some improvements to make now. For example, we still need to make the loading UI a little bit better. Now when you press this, like that, we don't really know that it's uploading, so we want to have some kind of thing that's spinning. And also maybe some way of like, maybe some button here that says edit images or something here where that says edit because now it's relatively unclear that you need to click on the image in order to be able to uh, edit it. But that is the progress for now. But with that said, that is enough coding for this morning. It is 11.34 and I'm gonna head to the gym. I'm gonna meet my friend there at 12 o'clock and I'm going to the gym. That's a little bit further away than usual, but it's all good. Sesh. Now we're gonna head over to my dad's store but I'm also gonna tell you a little bit more about the app that we're building and also we're gonna try to edit as much of a YouTube video as possible. First, let's have some food. Alright, so a couple of days ago I recorded a video about AI and how you can use AI in your everyday life because now a lot of people are just like testing it, chat GPT and all that stuff but there's actually so much use for it. I use it all the time when I'm coding and need to know stuff for example. 
So I recorded a video called 15 things or 15 ways you can use AI right now in your life to make your everyday life better. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have, we have about an hour until I have to go to my dad's story to record. So we're gonna get started and edit as much of that video as possible. Let's go. Hello. Okay, that is it for what I have time for now. It's around 3.26, which means I gotta get ready because now I gotta go to my dad's sort of film. After that, we're going out for dinner with my cousin who's turning 30. So let's get ready. That is it for what I had time to do with my own stuff today. We got the whole, pretty much the whole UI done. That took like three hours for the image UI and the functions in the app. And I managed to cut up most of the video because you know when you're editing in a video, you need to cut it all up because you pause and all that kind of stuff. So I managed to do that, um, which is pretty good. I'll have to finish that tomorrow though, as well as the, the app. I think we're gonna try to release it for a beta version tomorrow. But with that said, that's pretty much it for uh, today. Now we're gonna go film with Arbris Pritikin, my dad's sword. I'm, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about that when we're there. That's also very related to the app. See you there. Okay, now we are on iPhone, but this is the Arborist store. You can see it's massive, full of gear. This is the kind of stuff that we're gonna be building the app for and the gear that we're gonna be putting in the app or that people are gonna be able to put in the app is this kind of gear, like ropes, etc. And here is actually my, I can't see him. There he is, that. He's gonna explain quickly what the Arborist store is and then what the, the app we're building and what Arborism is, because I guess a lot of people don't have any idea what it could be. Here he is. First of all, what is this place and what is an arborist? Well, this is Arborist Boutique and we sell gear from uh, leading manufacturers across the world. Uh, everything from carabiners, ropes, uh, clothing, uh, bags, uh, you know, the works, you know, we have about 2,600 articles in stock. So these are products from all over the world. Nice little bit of self promo there. I'll be invoicing for this afterwards, just so we know. But okay. what, what is an arborist? Tell well, us. An arborist is a person who is taking care of trees, essentially. It's not just cutting down trees, but it, it's managing, you know, trees uh, to make sure trees are healthy, uh, you know, in, in uh, environment in the cities, for instance, you know, trees are very good for, for human beings. So uh, we don't, you know, just cut down trees. We take care of trees and make sure they flourish and uh, live on. Mm -hmm. So what, what are some of the really cool, strange gear that you have? Could you show us some of the, the strangest stuff maybe in the store? Or not strangest, but like coolest. Well, you know, we have we have a lot of different uh, senders. Uh, for instance, we have, you know, the Akimbo, which is a very popular, very small device. It's, it's uh, midline attachable, so you can open it and you can attach it to a line like that. It's got two different friction points here. We adjust uh, according to your rope and what type of friction, the, the weight of yourself as a person. So this is a very neat little device. Uh, we also have, uh, you know, the, uh, the Taz Love, which is also the sender, which is now openable and midline attachable as well. Um, very popular, it's used actually by the military to descend from helicopters, for instance. Uh, we have a nice little block here from uh, DMM, which uh, this was released in, in um, October in, uh, for the uh, breast cancer uh, uh, campaign that was running. So uh, very nice, neat little block. So essentially for, all, for the app that we're building and the app that I've been explaining for the last couple of videos, this is the profession that the app will be used for. But tell me, why are we, why are we building an app and what, what kind of app are we trying to make here? Well, we're, we're building an app to help arborists in their daily work. It's got calendar function, uh, so you can schedule your jobs, you can take pictures of the jobs and the trees that you are gonna work with. You know, there's a gear list uh, with all the equipment that you have under your possession, and you can actually add those uh, different equipments that you need for- All the kind of stuff that's in here. Yeah, exactly. All, all the job, particular stuff you need for a job, you can add to that job. It's got a really nice, cool a risk assessment part as well. So you do a risk assessment on the job you're doing that can be shared with others. So you can convert it into a PDF and so forth. So um, uh, it's going to be a very versatile tool for arborists to have everything in their fall. Yeah, that's the plan. And that's what we're coding. That's what we're building. And that's what this series is about. So uh, hopefully we, we launched the app in like a, a month or two. And from then it's a takeover of the world. 
that's the plan at least we'll see how it goes one thing that's really cool about the store here is the stickers that are sent out to the customers so there are a couple of ones for example here is an indiana jones one temple of gear i'm not sure if you look closely you can see it's actually my dad who is <laughs> indiana jones in the sticker i think this one is even better this is the old company car again my dad who's the, the character from back to the future and if you look closely it's like it says arbitrary patikin on the wing of the car it's full of arbitrary gear inside the car pretty neat there's a guy in ireland right who makes this calm champ exactly pretty pretty so cool this, stuff this is really you know the t-rock that he made into a delorean <laughs> uh, if you can look closer you can see the self-tying shoes as well and it's got a lot of gear here in the car and at the you know the, the wing door as well that's uh that's pretty nice Another fun fact is that the logo of our Bispatiken I actually designed over a weekend, like a year ago. I think it looks pretty cool. It's like new company colors. Also, it's a tree inside of that hexagonal kind of shape, which yeah, looks pretty decent. But that is it for the visit to our Bispatiken. We got a lot of content filmed, a lot of stuff done. So productive day. Now we're going to head out and I'm going to head to the city for my cousin's 30th birthday dinner. So let's see how that goes. Let's see if we can have a, still have a productive day tomorrow, which is the goal. A few hours later. All right, so it's like quarter past 11. I've been out, I've been eating, I've been drinking a little bit, but not enough to have an unproductive day tomorrow. Got some food. We got some, we went to a really expensive fancy restaurant, but they give you like no food at all. So had to get some food on the way. The goal for 2023 is to not go out to the point where I'm not gonna be able to have a productive day before nine o'clock the day after. Now it's like quarter past 11, I'll be home in five minutes. So I'll still be able to wake up at eight o'clock tomorrow and start working on all this stuff that we're doing. So that's good. Well, I'm not sure why I'm vlogging this. Vlogging? Does this count as a vlog? Jesus, I guess I'm a vlogger now. Or I guess I just wanted to show a bit of like a, you know, productive kind of weekend. So that's it. I'll see you tomorrow morning where we're gonna finish the YouTube video. We're gonna finish the app UI. Maybe we're gonna comment out some code, maybe fix some modifications. Maybe if we're lucky, send on the beta test. But yeah, we'll see that then. But signing out for tonight. All right, so the following day, I've had breakfast. I've done my whole morning routine. I've read a book for like an hour. Now we're gonna get back to editing. We're gonna finish this video. Then we're gonna get back to the app stuff. So when I snap my finger, it's gonna be done. Okay, done. It's around 12.45. That took like two hours. I thought it was gonna take an hour maybe. But I spent a lot of time on like the video SEO on the thumbnail. Let me show you. Okay, we now have pretty good looking thumbnail. I set the video to go live on uh, this evening. At six o'clock I have this big ass tripod. That's why I'm holding the camera so far away. So it's a video about like AI tools, 15 ways you can use AI in your life. Should be quite interesting. Check it out up here and let me know what you think. See if you can make use of any of these tools. And we are back in the office. So my to do now is gonna be three things. First of all, I'm gonna finish up this whole picture UI thing. Now we need a little bit of a loading screen when we're uploading pictures to the, the app or for jobs in particular. Second of all, we're gonna explore notifications. So if I can use Firestore Cloud functions to send notifications in some kind of way when a job is approaching, maybe on the same day, maybe two hours in advance or something. I'm gonna explore that a little bit. We don't really need it. We don't really need that for the beta version or even the first version. But I just want to do some research, see if it's possible. Number two is we're going to explore if it's possible to export a particular time to a calendar to see, okay, will I be able, if I have this job, can I press export a calendar and it will appear in like a Google or Apple calendar. That's also going to, not something we need for the beta version or the first version even, but I just want to explore and see if it's easy to add. If it is easy to add, maybe I'll add it now. If it's not easy, I won't add it and we'll send out the beta version this week. Integrating the calendar with the Flutter app was actually much easier than I thought. All it was was just you use a plugin called Calendar View and then you just send the stuff that you need. So for example, if you want to add a name, a calendar, place, a time, etc. You just send that to the function that it provides you and it will add to the device's native calendar. All right, so we've made quite a bit of progress here during this afternoon. Uh, first of all, let me show you what we have added. We have, we have added this little thing at the top, which gives you an option to do some things. So then we've solved two problems, actually. We've added the calendar thing, and also we allow users to, in a more user-friendly way, I guess, except for just pressing the image, they can also now use this in order to edit the image, which I think is pretty neat. And it's like probably a little bit simpler than figuring out that you have to press the image. But we still have both of those options as they don't really intervene with each other and they both work together. But now, for example, say we have uh, we have this job. We have cutting branches at Sundby Bergsvägen 2. We're gonna press this and we're gonna go add to calendar. And then it will integrate with the native iOS calendar. Then of course we can change this if we want to. But for default, it's gonna be the 
uh, what we have input in the job and then as well as the time so we'll press add to the calendar if we then go to this device's calendar we'll be able to see I think uh, yeah for example here is none another one that I added it will just appear in the calendar and kind of integrate seamlessly which I thought was pretty neat uh, moreover we have also and this is now I've caused a problem but for example now I have this and I add an image to the gallery does I get this error an unknown error occurred I like I've had this before and that one then it was because of the security um, I wasn't allowed to read or write to my own database for some reason I think that expires after a while so I need to fix that make sure that doesn't happen for users uh, but I'll figure that one out that should be quite easy if not I'll just rebuild the whole image thing that's relatively simple because right now the image uploading isn't super good but uh, yeah I'm really happy with this uh, this feature the calendar feature as well as the export to PDF that still we have that up here as well for example we still have that so now we can see that in PDF so pretty good stuff I think yeah that's it for today or not today but that's it for this afternoon now I'm gonna head to the gym it's 3 30 I gotta go train arms now which should be pretty good then we're gonna, gonna ho come home have some dinner uh, go play Sunday League and then we're off to the week. Alright, just got back from the gym, had a good arm day. Now I'm eating some pre-made food here before I go to play Sunday League. Didn't really have time to cook, so this is what we're doing today. Gonna eat this, go play Sunday League, then we're gonna finish off the week, like plan next week, finish off some last stuff with the cold tonight. Yeah, that's it. A few hours later. Alright, just came through the door from Sunday League. This is a classic Sunday evening. What we're gonna do now is that we're gonna put the camera down there. We're gonna get one of these shakers out, fill it with a little bit of water, just a little bit, and then we're gonna get some milk from over here. Pour a little bit in there for taste, and after that, we're gonna add two scoops of this anabolic shit. No, it's actually just uh, protein powder, but it says anabolic on top. So it likes, makes it look a lot more extreme than it actually is. But it's good, this is for the gains. This goes straight to the biceps. After this, you're gonna shake this as much as you possibly can. Shake, shake, shake. And then we're gonna bring it into the office and we're gonna sit it back down and we're gonna plan the week. So this is something that I try to do every week. But I got this journal, it's called Karst Stone Paper. And basically, uh, you just, yeah, it kind of gives you like a little template, so I plan my whole week there and I try to do this every Sunday where I just write down all the stuff that I need to do for the week and like if I have something in particular on Monday or whatever what my goals are for each day. Like just good to be mindful with what, however you're spending your time essentially, that's kind of why you're doing it. So that's what we're gonna do now. It should take about 20 minutes and after that we're gonna go ahead to bed and the weekend is over. But I'm gonna call it there for the video. This has been a very messy video I guess. Like. Some a lot of filming there, just picking it up there, kind of so a little bit all over the place. But yeah, this is this was episode 63, 64 maybe of starting a startup. This week we're gonna try to release the beta version again, or the second version of the beta test for this uh, this app, and then we're gonna do a full walkthrough of the app in another video. That's pretty much it for this time. Signing out. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.